Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here. Uh, so glad you could join us as we journey through uh, Psalm 23, uh, taking our time and working our way through it. We hope you're enjoying the pre these videos. If you missed any, go back and watch some previous videos. Uh, the last time we were here, we talked about how the shepherd uh, walks us through the process. And where's the shepherd leading us? He leads us beside the still waters. We talked about this a little before. He leads us to the still waters, a quiet place, a resting place, a peaceful place. The journey can be long sometimes. The journey can include struggle, but it's leading us to a place of peace. He leads us to peaceful, quiet places. For all the warfare and all the turmoil, God knows how to give us a moment of peace, a moment of a, 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 a break, a moment where God brings us in to rest. He leads us beside the still waters, a condition of rest, a place where we are settled, a place where we experience the joy of the Lord. God is leading you through something to lead you to something, and that's rest and quietness. And God knows how to bring you to a place of peace after a storm, a place of calm after the rages of the circumstances feel like they're overwhelmed. God knows how to bring us into a place of stillness. And here's the thing I love about him. Not only will he bring you to a place of peace after the storm, he'll teach you how to have peace in the storm. Stillness, a quietness, a respite, a Sabbath while you're in this thing. But we know the shepherd is leading us to a place of peace. While you're in it, keep your mind stayed on him and he'll keep you in perfect peace. Rejoice in the Lord always. Pray, supplicate, lament, talk to God and the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your heart and your mind. God will give you peace in your struggle. It doesn't eliminate the struggle, but what peace does is allows you to manage the struggle in a better way. Peace doesn't always eliminate the anxiety, the fears, and the hardness of the season, but peace can give you a sense of calm while you're in it. And then God will lead you through that to lead you beside the still waters, a place where you can drink from, calm and quiet. Why the still waters? Because the shepherd doesn't lead you to a place where the current is too strong for you to drink from. That when the sheep can dip its head down and drink from the waters, the current won't be so strong that it takes the sheep away. But God takes us by the still waters, a place where we can drink from, we can be blessed, we can provide, be provided for, and it not consume us. God knows how to give you a blessing in an arena that you can manage. He won't give you more than you can handle as it relates to this. God, don't give me something that I'm not prepared for. Don't lead me to something that I can't manage. We always think we can manage more, but Lord, lead me to the place, to the current that I can drink from and survive it. God is leading you to a place, peaceful place, the still waters, a place where you can drink. You can be provided for and survive the blessing. God knows what to give you in the season that you're in. He is our shepherd. We shall not want. He supplies all our need. Not everything we want, but the things that we need, he knows what we have need of, and he supplies it. Jesus reminds us, your father knows what you have need of before you ever ask for it. He has already supplied, and he's already taken care of. We'll pick this up next video and talk some more about Psalm 23. God bless you all. We love you. We appreciate you. And we're in the New Year season. Happy New Year, and God bless you.